Welcome back to Manic Mods, YouTube's newest home of product tweaks and pandemonium. My new family, this is not the video I thought I'd be dropping right now. If you caught my ATV teaser, you saw Manic Mods was in full gear building an electric mini ATV from a Suzuki Quadmaster 50. I finished the build last week and let me tell you, 3000 watts on this ATV is a good time. Gross weight 300 pounds up a hill? No problem. Pull my adult ass through multiple terrains? We got this. Start from zero RPMs? Maybe. Yeah, this thing is not enjoyable because one out of every three times you throttle from zero RPMs, the speed and power is restricted. This pattern of behavior is consistent on and off the road. This behavior is also consistent with the chain off and even bench topped as you will see later. I suspected it could have related to reversing the motor's direction. This was done by swapping the targeted phase and hall sensor wires. I attempted to verify the wires I swapped with Kunray, even though I knew I'd have a larger problem if they were wrong. Their support team told me I didn't need to swap the hall sensors, and it was at that moment I knew I was on my own. I ordered a Bluetooth module to relearn and reverse my motor digitally. While I waited for it, I researched the issue, which was a dead end. I checked all my wiring, tried multiple throttles, and the problem continued in all scenarios. I received my Bluetooth module, brought phase and wiring back to stock form, and reversed the motor digitally. I was off to a good start, but calibration, sadly, yielded no improvement. Okay. And I get a throttle error and I read online that's actually normal state and um, it beeps twice to indicate it's programmed but that's awfully weird you get the throttle error but I think the throttle error is because I'm still on the throttle after the test has ended um, but yeah, that's my problem at large. And after calibration, does it work? Does it fix anything? No, unfortunately not. It is right out of the gate. I was still happy to have the Far Driver app at my disposal. This helped me rule out throttle mapping among other variables and provide this preview of my settings. I ensured TCS was off, but I also experimented to see if I could rewrite a buggy throttle curve to no avail. At this point, I reached out to FarDriver. Within my ticket, I described the issue and maybe put too much emphasis on requesting the firmware because I only received a bin file which I cannot import within the app despite FarDriver confirming it should work. At this point, I opened a thread on Endless Fears forum. Kudos to that community because they host a wealth of knowledge you won't find anywhere else. Like my research, I don't think anyone was familiar with the issue. To take matters into my own hands, I ordered another complete kit from Kunray. I received this kit yesterday, and here are the results from my replacement and benchtop tests. It does the same fucking thing. This controller, after calibration, stays on like this. Since the new controller did not resolve my issue, I needed to isolate the motor. I really wanted to avoid replacement because I have it well mounted and wrapped with heating pads. These heating pads were to remove any condensation when bringing the ATV in from the cold. I also had faith that the motor was fine and opted to remove my phase modifier plugs which were no longer needed. This cleaned up the design but the motor calibrated and ran the same way. Out of options, I tested the new motor alongside the new controller. It's still there. Full throttle. Despite my confidence in it, it was time to isolate my harness. I extended my battery to my bench top and connected my first controller to my new motor and harness. I'm gonna run through calibration and see if I can't but replicate this in this vanilla setup on my desktop here. So I've got my main power leads, 
Then I've got the phase wires connected as well as the hall sensor. Outside of that, I'm, uh, I've got their high-low connected just to ensure I am in drive. And I've got my Bluetooth module and my controller mounted. All OEM stuff here, um, or at least as kitted. So I'm gonna go into auto learn. Calibration was successful, Let's but I immediately that. experienced the throttle issue again. Full throttle each iteration. There we go, there's my problem. Right out of the gate, bench topped. What am I doing wrong? What setting am I missing? What What is going on? How come I can replicate this? I could pull my other motor, I could put it on the bench, it's gonna do the same thing. I could take my other controller, I could put it on the bench, it's gonna do the same thing. Without another $500 battery to spare, I opened a much more expensive server UPS and removed six 12 volt lead acid cells. I made sure the batteries were topped off before I wired them in series for my final bench top tests. I calibrated with my original controller, new power supply, motor, and harness, and guess what? It didn't work. All right, go in, save that. Full throttle. Full throttle. We're almost done here and I appreciate you sticking around. In my final test, I used only new kit components with my new power supply. Previously, I had not used the new controller because the throttle hangs when you get off the throttle. So see how we do here on the benchtop test with the brand new far driver kitted with the 3000 watt motor by Conray and packaged and sold by Conray. And guess what? It didn't work. <laughs> If that motor had stopped, I could have revved it again. It could have been full throttle without an issue, but it doesn't stop on this controller. All right, full throttle, and I bet it's just gonna go wee. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't get it. All right, that's it. Ran over. Thank you for watching. I put together this video to illustrate the severity of the problem to Conray and Far Driver. If you have any questions or suggestions of your own, I am all ears. If you came here for a solution to the problem, check below because I will update this video accordingly. And hey, if you want to see what Manic Mods is all about, consider stopping by. It's basically more of this stuff, but on a more cheerful note instead of a brown note. I don't get it. Oh, I don't get it. <laughs>